What are you got? You. I was born 123rd Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. Okay? Uh, What'd you do for fun girl? and stuff? Going to school, playing stickball with the kids in the street, skating, roller skating, playing baseball. And I used to stand online for Frank Sinatra. And I had two brothers, Carl and Freddie. They were the greatest brothers in the world. They really were. They were very good to me. They took me all over. My father used to do the same thing. It was great. He used to go to 42nd Street constantly, once a month. My brother Freddie was in the War Department in the Second World War. He worked in Washington. My brother Carl went right into the service. December 7th was Pearl Harbor. And he went in in January into the war. Yeah. He was in Omaha Beach, June 6th. Then he went into the Battle of the Bulge and he was walking towards enemy lines and the American soldiers were about to shoot him. Because at that time, the bomb hit them, killed all his friends, and it just so happened it knocked him over the table. And that's what saves his life. But he didn't know where he was. But because he was uh, an MP in the Army, and he also was a boxing instructor, he started fighting, I told you, in the church as a, as a, as really as just an introduction to, for the church to make money. And then before you know it, he went serious. is from Brooklyn, New York, and he weighs 147, one of the leading welterweight contenders of today, Carmine Fiore. Fiore. 1941, everything was a shortage. There was a shortage of everything, right? And this was a war that we weren't prepared for. You couldn't get coffee, you couldn't get meat. There were stamps for everything food stands for everything. Hair stamps to put on the window of your car. Everybody, every street had a guard with a blow horn. You had to keep all your lights and windows closed, your blinds closed. No lights, no radio, no nothing, complete darkness. So, and that was it. That was the war. It was devastating. And trust me, you kids today don't appreciate the because we were scared stiff as kids. It was horrible. It was a horrible, scary thing, especially how they were living with no food being bombed. And what happened at the age of 11? Was it? Oh, I was 1941. It was December 7th, Pearl Harbor, two days after Pearl Harbor, I got spinal meningitis. I had to last twice, three times. In other words, you're dying, and the, the Catholic religion uh, gives you the last rites before you die. They said that I wasn't going to make it. They had all the antibiotics going to the boys overseas because December 7th was Pearl Harbor. And they, because I was a kid, they finally got it for me. And then I came out of it, but I had seen the Blessed Mother. So you died? Before I came out of the coma, I seen the Blessed Mother, and there were white steps, white steps, marble steps, and it was going up into, and at the top of the steps, I could see it just like yesterday. She was standing there all in white, with her arms like this, and she's looking down, and the nuns are bringing me up the steps to her. And I was crying that I wanted to go back. I didn't want to go with the nuns. I wanted to go home to my mother. We get to the top of the steps and I'm there before her and I'm 
And she said, why was I crying? And I said, I want to go home to my mother. I don't want to come here. So she looked at the nuns and she said, this is not her time. He said, you have to take her back. And that, so what happened was, my mother was friends with the priest in St. Helena's. He called up St. Patrick's Cathedral. They came up, I remember when I was a kid, they came up with a priest from there, I don't know who the priest was, and they asked me what I saw and described everything that I saw. And I told them everything. I was 10 years old. So they wrote everything down and they said they believed me because no kid at 10 years old would have made that up.